Hello everyone, hope you're well. Today I bring to you the top cozy games to play this winter. The first recommendation is Potion Craft. It's a super unique game. The, the gameplay is amazing, it's just there is no other game like that. Potion Craft is an alchemy simulator where you are kind of like a witch in this medieval kind of setting where you take care of a shop, you have to gather ingredients, plant in your garden, you have to um, experiment through this really interesting gameplay mechanic through this map to find out new recipes and new potions to craft and then you have to talk to your um, clients to see what they need and it's not a very um, you know straightforward thing it's not like oh hey I need a fire potion no they tell you a problem that they have so you have to actually pay attention to the dialogue and figure out what exactly they need um, so it's really interesting, it's really immersive, you can play hours and hours and hours of this and never get bored because there is always more to do, the tools are super satisfying to use, it's really fun, I cannot recommend this enough, this this is a must um, play <laughs> experience. The second recommendation is Cozy Grove. Cozy Grove is a game about camping on a haunted island, so you are a spirit scout and you have to wander the island, you can gather ingredients, you can craft, you can fish, you can dig treasures, you can trade, but your main goal is help spirits move and uncover new areas and things to do in the island. So every time you help a spirit, they're gonna unlock this new, you know, further area of the island with new things to do. You can customize your character, you can customize the island with chairs and furniture and different things like that. Um, it's a very fun game, it's very wholesome, you have to feed looks to your friend Flamey that looks like Calcifer, it's adorable, and the sense of progression is what I really like in this game. You have so many different tasks, you earn the badges, it always feels like you have something to do. This game is really fun, really relaxing. The third game that I really want to recommend to you guys, in case you haven't played it, I can't stop talking about it, nobody's gonna shut me up about this, it's a short hike, it's so fun, so it's a casual game, really relaxing, really short, but it's so much fun, it's a perfect game for people who like to complete 100% of the game, you know, there is always something to do, there, you, you can use the pickaxe, you can use the shovel, you can climb, you can run, you can fly, you have to collect these golden feathers to increase your stamina to be able to fly, you can um, play around in the boat, you can find chests, you can fish, there's so many secrets, so many side quests, so many interesting ways to resolve the tasks and so many cute characters, absolutely lovely dialogue, as well. <laughs> super unique. The main, the main fun is just, you know, going there, climbing up peak of the mountain and then just flying down all the way, it's so relaxing. Um, the music changes, it's a dynamic music, uh, this is such a nice detail, like the soundtrack is awesome. Uh, it's really well done, it's like 10 out of 10, really cool, really cozy game. Um, fourth recommendation will be Rocky. Rocky is an adventure mystery kind of story based game. I haven't played yet, but I've seen lots of gameplay. Um, it's, a, it's an adventure set in this kind of like Scandinavian folklore forest place and you're the main character who's searching for her brother that was ki kind of kidnapped by this mysterious creature and through your adventure you're gonna meet lots of mystical creatures, you're gonna solve some environmental puzzles, so if you like point and click kind of games, um, you have to drag items from inventory, make new tools, there is some interesting gameplay mechanics like that. Um, it's not challenging but it's still mostly interesting and the storyline is very intriguing um, with really great dialogue so I really recommend this one as well, very cozy, also super perfect for winter, snowy winter theme kind of game. The next recommendation is Coffee Talk and Coffee Talk is a story based game, you are the owner of this coffee shop called Coffee Talk and it's kind of like a simulator, a talking simulator I guess, it's hard to explain because it's a very unique game as well, but you are in a fantasy version of Seattle where 
elves and magical creatures live within the hu with the humans and you're this barista that runs the coffee shop and you have to go through a certain number of days meeting this interesting cast of characters you can figure out the recipes sometimes the clients need certain ingredients or certain coffee that you don't have the recipe so you have to figure it out or you they just ask for the ingredients and you can mix them up there and give them the coffee you have to fulfill their orders correctly to be able to see the you know, you know the all the story that they have to tell and they're all very nice little details here and there and some nice touches like you can do latte art and things like that the next recommendation is when the past was around this is a game that i also haven't played i don't really play much point and click games but this is um, a very acclaimed game. It has lots of interesting puzzles. People really like this one. The main character is a young woman that she should be, you know, out and about living and enjoying life. She's really young, but she's actually grieving and coming to deal with this grief and her loss. And through the game, you have to kind of like piece the memories together and move on and learn about who she was and you know just like interesting story as well you can interact with the items and look out for tools and useful things that you can use to interact with and it has a lovely hand-drawn 2d art it's absolutely incredible the music is one of the central theme um, it mirrors her emotional state throughout the story and yeah the whole story is driven by music which is amazing very very cool the next recommendation is The Wild at Heart. So The Wild at Heart is an adventure action exploration game and you are you play with these two best friends running away from home and they get in this kind of like a mess. Um, it's an action adventure game where you have to keep the forest safe from the enemies, you meet magical creatures and forest spirits. It has a lot of like a the Ghibli films vibe a little bit. You, you have to gather those little companions that have different skills that can be used in different ways. They're called the spritelings and you have the day night cycle. Very unique gameplay. You have to use these little companions to affect the environment and attack monsters, pull items, you know, just solve the puzzles using those little companions and your two characters. And you need a certain number of spritelings to unlock certain things and be able to explore it, which gives a really nice sense of progression to the game as well. Very cozy. The next recommendation is Mary's Room. So Mary's Room is a short exploration game about a friendship between two people. You play as Kelsey and you have to remember Mary's Room um, from 20 years ago and figure out what happened to Mary. So it's based on this mystery. It's a mystery where you need to find out what happened to the main characters by piecing out the memories, interacting with the space. You have, you know, this whole Mary's room that you have to explore uh, to try to find out uh, what happens. And you unlock more and progress a lot. And it's very complete and very fascinating game for a free game. So it's free, you can get it for free on Steam. The next recommendation is a pretty old game called Banished. Um, I just, I needed to recommend that because it's a game that I always feel like I want to play on winter. It's a city building strategy game where you have to control this group of people who are exiled and they are just starting their new life in the new land. So you have basically nothing. They just have the clothes and some, you know, supplies and your main um, goal is to build a town that is self-sufficient and can survive through time with uh, these townspeople so they are your main resource it may look a, a bit overwhelming at start but it has you know lots of interesting different systems and for me it fits winter really well because it, when you start playing it even though you have four seasons in the game the first three seasons you just spend thinking about winter because winter is the most harsh season it's really hard to survive and banish it especially when you get started really cool it's addictive gameplay you can spend hours and hours playing managing and expanding your city start with these little few resources and then you can create stations for woodcutting, church, farms, barns, hunter lodges, you know, you just manage your resources and people to do different work and it has incredible soundtrack, very, very cool music, um, very good sense of progress, you're always improving your town, you can play hours and hours and there's always something to do with your city, so I really recommend that one. The next one is The Long Dark. The Long Dark is an 
a bit of an older game as well. It's a survival game. It's very winter themed. You have to survive in this very, very cold, harsh winter environment with a lot of snow, there's mountains, there are many um, dangerous animals like wolves and bears. And after this disaster, you need to, you're just alone in this place and you need to collect food and clothes and understand how the world has changed and manage your resources and your supplies and your stats to be able to survive as many days as you can. It's really, really cozy game because even though it's a bit hard and you have to survive, you feel it's so, it's, it's almost peaceful to be alone in that snowy place. Um, you can travel, you can explore a lot, you can walk days and days be a nomad or you can stop at some someone else's house and just sleep there. So you can you can kind of like wander around this winter themed place and it's uh, yeah, it's for, it's kind of peaceful, very relaxing. Next recommendation is good pizza, great pizza. So this game is extremely casual, very very quick kind of simple gameplay. There isn't much to it, you know, there isn't much going on. Um, this is for people who really want just like a quick um, get something that you can play for a very short amount of time. Just sometimes you do want to kill boredom, you don't really have anything to do. That's a good game, it's very casual, it, it is relaxing. It's a essentially it's a cooking simulator. You have to make pizzas and box them up. That's it. It grades you as how good you've done. You have to place the ingredients correctly in the right spaces. You can earn money at the end of the day and then buy new toppings and unlock new ingredients and upgrade the restaurant, add some furniture, decoration, stuff like that. And you basically see the customer's requests and you have to make the right pizza for them. And it's a single player game, there's no co-op, there is not much to it, but it's, it's a very casual. The game has really warm, cozy colors, which gives off like a really relaxing, cozy vibe when you're playing it. Next is Life is a Strange True Colors. I haven't played it yet, but I, I'm pretty sure most people have heard of it. So you are the main character, Alex. She has this power of empathy and an accident happened and her brother dies and she feels like it's not so much like an accident and she's gonna embrace her power to try to find the truth. So she moved to this really small town where everyone knows each other and people hide things and there are many secrets and you know you're gonna try to uncover those secrets by using your power which allows you to see the color of the aura of a person based on what they are feeling like the strongest emotion that they are feeling at the moment. So it has lots of different choices, it has really real experiences and by what I've seen, it has so much better animation and NPC expressions and things like that. And it has a surprisingly good storytelling and really interesting, unique gameplay moments as well. So really recommend that one. Next is a Stardew Valley. There isn't much to tell. You probably know Stardew Valley. You probably have Stardew Valley. If you don't, please go get it. Um, it's a really good cozy game. You can play in any season, but it's also perfect for winter when you want to be cozy at home. And it's a game that you can spend hours and hours and hours and hours playing. And if you do already have Stardew Valley, you can install some mods um, or expansions that add more content to the game. I have a tutorial on how to install mods. If you want, I will link it up. And it's a very easy to follow step-by-step um, -step kind of tutorial. You can always have more to do with Stardew Valley. You're gonna, you know, if you don't know Stardew Valley, it's a farming simulator. You're gonna inherit this farm from your grandparents and you'll just have to fr make it thrive. You know, you have to build relationships, um, you can go mining, you can go fishing, you have events, oh, there's so much to do. It's a very, very cozy game that is inspired very much on Harvest the Moon. And if you like that kind of farming game, that's the perfect game for you. Behind the Frame is a lovely, wholesome point and click game with absolutely incredible art that is perfect for any Ghibli film fan. And behind the frame, you are an artist trying to finish her masterpiece. And once you start giving shape to her painting, she starts recalling memories of a certain important person of her life. Through interacting with the items around you and solving the puzzles in the game, you will uncover who this person was 
and watch this story. It's a very story-based game as well, very wholesome, relaxing, engaging, with a very relatable, realistic, emotion-filled story with lovely art. And the last recommendation for today is Terraria. Terraria is a sandbox crafting game, also a, an older game, but it's also perfect for winter because you can just get completely immersed in that world and or worlds if you create more than one. And you just basically have to dig, fight, explore and build and nothing is impossible with this game because there is so much to do, so many updates have been put into this game. You can play with friends, you can play alone, you can focus on whatever activity makes you happier, you can make uh, more easier, you, you could start the journey mode if you don't like combat that much, you just want to build a town or build lots of houses or craft your own world and decorate it and make it all your own, you could play the journey mode which allows you to have infinite resources or you could go through the more survival crafting focus kind of mode which is the traditional one and you can just like fight lots of monsters and collect resources to try to craft you know armors and weapons and try to defeat all the bosses it's a very fun gameplay very unique game it's kind of like minecraft but 2d it runs um on any computer you can play with so many friends and yeah it's a lot of fun can't recommend this enough and these are my recommendations for the top cozy games that i really enjoy playing on winter and if you haven't played those or you want to play those soon please let me know um, what do you think of these recommendations? Do you have any recommendations of other cozy games that you think it's perfect to play during winter? Um, I would love to hear. Here in the UK it's getting really cold, it's snowing and it's getting really perfect to that um, time of the year where you just want to bundle up and play some cozy games and have some tea or coffee and light up some candles and really just enjoy your best <laughs> your best time and yeah i just hope you guys had nice holidays a nice time off and see you on the next one bye